Jefferson Home was built in 1870. Joseph Jefferson is a famous American actor. Besides being the famous actor, he was the architect of this home. He wrote his autobiography, and he was a wonderful landscape artist. Joseph Jefferson died only about a year after completing the great home. And some locals say his spirit still exists here, some 125 years later. The Jeffersons could have had family members buried here on the island. The spirits uh, from those uh, individuals would perhaps be the feelings that we get that there may be ghosts. Okay, well, I'm ready to see some ghosts. Can I see him? Sometimes it takes a certain individual to get these spirits. Boy, I hope I'm one of those individuals. And what kind of strange occurrences should I expect to see? Uh, as I was giving my tour, everybody stopped because we heard a group of people coming up. And so we, we, I stopped talking. The guests were looking at the door, waiting to see who would come in, and no one came in. And I've had several people at the end of the tour come up to me and say, you know you have ghosts in this house. So if you're anything like me, you're probably saying, ah, fooey, I don't believe in this ghost stuff. This Jefferson home, it's not haunted. There's one way to find out. Photographer Bill Rodman and I grabbed our sleeping bags, summoned up some courage, and tried to conjure up our own ghostly encounter. Sure, that? I think it's just the handle flicking down. We might have tried too hard. Bags check. Uh, I only know of two other people that spent the night here ever since uh, original director of that first started Live Oak Gardens, he and his two little boys. And I understand by two o'clock they were all gone. Yeah, but that's children. You know how their imaginations tend to wander. We, on the other hand, are grown men. And it's going to take a lot more than an occasional bump in the night to send us scurrying home. After we got over the initial jitters, we turned down the sleeping bags and tried to get some shut eye. Alright. I'm going in. Wasn't sure if it was my fear of ghosts or the hardwood floors. I knew it'd be a long night. As you can see, we made it through the night, got a couple hours of shut eye, won a few bets and learned a moral to the story. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. In New Iberia, Bill Sherman, WAFB News.